The whole world is filled with liars, thieves, murderers, and fornicators. We love revenge. We are all under the curse of sin. The scriptures declare, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Let's see what happens to a sinner when he dies. This man thought he had everything. The scriptures said, And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. After death, his soul is immediately taken to hell to wait for God's terrible judgment. All because he rejected God's love gift of eternal life. The time is coming. It is called the great and terrible day of God's judgment. When all who died in their sins will be called to appear before the Lord Jesus Christ to be judged. The Word of God says, and I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And I saw the dead small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. Every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. When it is over, God will ask an angel to open the book of life to see if your name appears. The angel will look and say, That name does not appear, Lord. And God will say, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. The Bible says, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest, day or night, forever. Now, watch closely. And see the billions upon billions who died in their sins. 
Jesus loved these people enough to leave heaven and warn them about hell and judgment. He shed his precious blood, God's blood, to wash away their sins. He died and rose from the dead. But none of these people believed him. None of them made Jesus their Lord and Savior. Instead of choosing life, they chose death. So Jesus, as God Almighty and final judge, had to send them here to their second death. In the name of God, before it's too late, before you die, Believe Jesus and make him your Lord and Savior before you end up in this horrible place. Before his return to heaven, Jesus made this wonderful promise to all those who receive him. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Jesus proclaimed that all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Then he was taken up into the clouds to heaven. Dear viewer, this is the greatest story ever told. Jesus is indeed the light of the world. If you miss Jesus, you miss the way to heaven. He himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Although Satan is a defeated foe, God has given him permission to rule over this world system, which is totally corrupt. Satan's purpose is to blind the hearts and minds of people to the gospel. Millions are deceived. The lake of fire is the final place for all who rejected the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. It's too late for them. But what about you? If you receive Jesus, this is the beginning of a wonderful new life. God will bless you and change your whole life and give you a brand new heart. All of your problems won't go away, but He will carry your burdens for you, casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you. But the best part will come when you stand before your wonderful Savior at death, and He will say to you, Well done thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. God loves you and guided you here so you can be saved from a burning hell. If you want Jesus to come into your heart, you must ask him. Repeat these words and mean them. Lord, 
I realize that I am a sinner and need forgiveness. I believe Christ died for me and rose from the dead. Jesus, I now repent. I am willing to turn from sin. Please, come into my heart. I trust you alone for my salvation. Thank you for letting me hear and receive the words of eternal life. In Jesus' name, Amen.